Welcome back you guys. Today I'm going to show you how to make this Funfetti cookie dough cake. This cake flavor was a special request from my sister and since it is her birthday this week, I decided to make her a really special cake. This cake is made with 8 inch cake layers and it's my classic vanilla layer cake recipe that I've added 3 quarters of a cup of rainbow jimmies to. So I'm frosting it with a pretty thin layer of my American buttercream. I just want a little bit of frosting between my edible cookie dough discs. So I placed my edible cookie dough discs in a 7 inch pan and molded them using a bit of saran wrap. I then froze them to make them easier to place on top of my layers and carefully placed them on top of that buttercream. I have in-depth tutorials up on how to make my cake layers, how to make my buttercream, and even how to make this edible cookie dough. The recipes for all of the components of this cake are also up on shellsweets.com. I chose to use 8 inch cake layers because this cake gets really tall because of those layers of edible cookie dough. And by using 8 inch cake layers it spreads the batter out and makes the cake layer a bit thinner. And that way the cake isn't too tall. However, you could definitely modify this recipe to make it less layers or to use larger layers to make it even shorter. Another alternative is that you could place bits of cookie dough between the layers instead of using a giant disc like I use here. It really comes down to your preference, but I think it's so fun making an entire layer of cookie dough. It really gives a great look when you cut into the cake and just seems a bit more indulgent. Once all of my cake layers were stacked, I added a thin crumb coat around the cake using my large offset spatula. I always like to start at the top and then slowly work my way down. If you want to see a full in-depth tutorial on my entire smoothing process, you can click the link in the upper right corner. After I had covered the entire cake, I used my bench scraper to smooth out my crumb coat, and I then chilled the cake in the freezer for about 5 minutes until the crumb coat was nice and firm to the touch. Next, I added on a second, thicker layer of frosting using the same buttercream as before. I used a piping bag to add it around the cake just to make it easier to get it really nice and evenly distributed across the entire cake. I began to smooth this frosting using my large offset spatula, and then I finished the smoothing process using my bench scraper. Once the frosting was nice and smooth, I added a cardboard round to the top of the cake to keep the sprinkles from getting into that frosting, and then I gently added some sprinkles and mini chocolate chips along the side of the cake. So as you're doing this, you're not trying to apply a ton of pressure, you're just gently pressing the sprinkles into the frosting so they'll stick. I highly recommend doing this over a baking sheet just to keep sprinkles from going all over your floor. So once I had covered all the sides, I used a piece of acetate sheet just to press them a bit more firmly into the frosting and to give the cake sides a bit more of a finished look. I carefully removed the cardboard round from the top of the cake using my large offset spatula. And then it's time to add on those beautiful chocolate drips. So I'm using my chocolate ganache drip recipe here just to carefully spill a little bit over the sides of the cake to give the cake a really beautiful drip look. So if you want to see a full tutorial on how to add drips to a cake, you can click the link in the upper right corner where I cover all of my tips and tricks and also I do a bit of troubleshooting. As you guys know, I usually use a bottle to add drips to my cake, but I really love the kind of freeform look that using a spoon gives you and I thought it felt appropriate for this cake, but really you can use whatever method you prefer. I formed some edible cookie dough balls using my leftover cookie dough and I placed these around the perimeter of the cake. And that's all there is to it. I know that I always say the best part is cutting into the cake, but this one really is epic because it, we have all of those edible cookie dough discs between each cake layer. So you have to work a little bit to cut through it. Um, this is also a little bit more of a struggle just because my cake is slightly chilled. But as you can see, the inside of the cake is just beautiful, and it also tastes delicious. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to click the like button, and if you don't already subscribe to my channel, be sure that you click that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my cakes in the future. Thanks so much for watching, hopefully I'll see you guys again soon.